Hey there, welcome to Writer Sir. Have you ever looked at a bunch of numbers and wondered, what's all this about? Today, we're peeling back the layers on data analysis. Let's make those numbers make sense. Every time you buy something online, click on a website, or even just walk into a store, you're creating data. This information is like puzzle pieces. And when you put them together in the right way, you get a clear picture of something bigger. So, what exactly is data analysis? In simple terms, it's taking a lot of information and breaking it down to find patterns, trends, or answers to questions. It's like when you sort out pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, you might separate edge pieces or look for certain colors. That's what data analysts do, but with numbers. But don't just think of it as mere number crunching. Let's delve a little deeper. There are two main types of data that is quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative data is about numbers and measurements. Think of it like this, that is if you ask 10 friends how many books they read last year. Their answers, those numbers are quantitative data. Qualitative data, on the other hand, is more about descriptions. If you ask those same friends what they thought of a specific book, their feelings and opinions would be qualitative data. All right, moving on. Why is data analysis so important? Here's a real world example. Let's say a company wants to launch a new product, like a type of shoe, by looking at data from past sales. They can predict how popular this shoe might be, which colors might sell best, or what price point makes the most sense. By understanding the data, they can make better decisions. Simple, right? But wait, there's more. Ever hear of big data? It's a term that's been thrown around a lot lately. It's like the massive, jumbo, supersized version of regular data. Imagine trying to complete a million piece jigsaw puzzle. That's big data. And with the right tools and skills, analysts can sift through this mountain of info super quickly to find meaningful insights. By now, you might be thinking, this sounds cool, but it also sounds a bit tricky. Don't worry, just like learning to ride a bike or bake. It starts off with a bit of a wobble, but with practice, it gets smoother. If you're diving into research, especially something heavy duty like a dissertation or a thesis, understanding data analysis is crucial. For those deep into research work, we have a treat for you. Check out our previous video on dissertation tips, how to write PhD research methodology. It's a gem that will surely help. All right, before we wind down, here's a fun fact. Did you know that data analysts are some of the most sought after professionals today? Companies love them because they turn raw data into meaningful strategies. They are a bit like the superheroes of the business world, minus the capes. So, as we wrap up, ponder on this. In a world drowning in information, understanding data is like having a lifeboat. It keeps you afloat, helps you navigate, and ensures you are headed in the right direction. If you found this brief journey into the world of data insightful, enlightening, or even just entertaining, do us a favor, click that subscribe button. We've got a boatload more to share with you. And trust me, you won't want to miss out. Thanks for joining us today. As you go about your day, remember, behind every number is a story. What story will you uncover next? Which part of data analysis intrigues you the most? And what would you like us to cover in our next video? Share your thoughts below.